If you've ever looked at that little black bar on your MacBook and thought, what's the point of that thing? Well, Notch Nook might just be the answer you're looking for. Today, we're diving into Notch Nook, an innovative Mac OS app designed to make your MacBook's notch not just tolerable, but genuinely useful. So let's explore how it turns your MacBook's notch into a useful tool for productivity, customization, and even a little bit of fun. What is Notch Nook? Notch Nook is a Mac OS app that changes your MacBook's notch, you know, the little black bar where your webcam is, and it takes it and turns it into an interactive toolbar. Inspired by the iPhone 14 Pro's dynamic island, this app adds functionality to an otherwise unused part Part of your screen. With Notch Nook, that space becomes a little nook, a customizable area that hosts widgets, quick shortcuts, and more. The idea behind Notch Nook is simple but brilliant. Take that space that many people see as an eyesore and turn it into something genuinely helpful. Whether you're someone who likes to keep things organized, needs quick access to certain tools, or you just want to make your MacBook look and feel cooler, then Notch Nook has something for you. And here's a nice bonus. Even if your Mac doesn't have a notch, you can still use Notch Nook. It mimics the feature on any Mac OS device running Sonoma or later. So whether you've got a MacBook Pro, a MacBook Air, or even a MacBook Studio, you can join in on the fun. It's all about making your device work smarter, not harder. Features that make Notch Nook shine. Dynamic widgets and media controls. One of the coolest things about Notch Nook is how it makes your MacBook's notch come alive. It's like turning that little black bar into a mini command center. You can load it up with widgets that fit your workflow and style. For example, you can add a media player to see and control what's playing on your media Media player, whether that's Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, whatever. Notch Nook shows you the album art, song details, and lets you skip tracks with a simple gesture. It's perfect for those moments when you're working and you want to change the vibe without fumbling around with different apps. The calendar widget is another favorite. You can just hover over the notch and your schedule for the day pops up. It's quick, it's easy, and it's a great way to stay on top of things without breaking your focus. Need a mirror before jumping into a Zoom meeting? Notch Nook has you covered. The face FaceTime mirror widget lets you check your appearance with just a click. No more last minute panics about whether there's spinach in your teeth or something in your background. But what really takes Notch Nook to the next level is the file and app tray. Think of it as a mini dock that lives in your notch. You can drag files or apps into it for quick access. Whether it's a document you're constantly editing or an app that you use all the time, it's right there at your fingertips. The tray even clears itself when you quit the app, so you're not stuck with clutter. Or if you're just copying and pasting or you need to move some different apps or documents or files around, you can set it in your tray as a holding space, navigate to where it needs to go, and then just pull it down from the Notch Nook's tray to wherever it needs to go. It makes life so much easier. Customization galore. If you love tinkering with settings to make something truly yours, then you're gonna love Notch Nook. This app is all about customization. You can move widgets around to prioritize what's most important to you. Want the calendar front and center and the media player off to the side, done. Prefer a narrow tray that doesn't take up too much space? You can adjust the width and padding to get it just right. Notch Nook also lets you customize how the Nook behaves. For instance, you can set it to drop down automatically when you hover over the notch, or you can keep it manual so it only shows when you click on it. The gestures are another neat touch. You can swipe left or right to skip songs, making it feel like the app is an extension of your trackpad. And the best part is that this is just the beginning. The Developers are constantly working on updates to make Notch Nook even better. Features like notes, quick app launches, and even the ability to zip and unzip files are on the way. It's exciting to think about what the app could do in the future. All right, let's go ahead and see how Notch Nook works. So right now we're looking at my screen here, and this is not my MacBook screen. This is an external monitor, and as you can see, we have that Nook up there. So as I go ahead and hover on it, we can go ahead and see that currently right now there's nothing in my Nook. So when I click on it, it says no app seems to be running. Want to open one? And here I can open Spotify, Apple Music, or YouTube. Now I have Spotify open over here. So let's go ahead and start playing something. So I just started playing something down below. I've got the volume turned down so you can hear me. But as you can see, that notch just came alive. And now when I'm over here and I click on it, we can go ahead and see that it's going to go ahead and start showing our music. And from here, we can go ahead and skip We can go ahead and pause, we go to the next song and we can see the album art. And again, it's just a really easy way to go ahead and access our media. Now let's go ahead and look at how the tray works. So I've got this image here. Uh, 
I'll go ahead and just show here. It's on my desktop. Now let's say I needed to take it somewhere else and instead of just copying and pasting or trying to drag it from here to there and getting my windows just right, let's go ahead and just show you how Notch Nook can make this so much easier. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this file, which is a PNG file and come up here towards Notch Nook. Now here I can either drop it in the files tray or I could drop it in the airdrop tray, which will bring up my airdrop menu that I can go ahead and send that off to. For now, I just wanna go to the files tray. So I'll go ahead and drop it there. And now we can see we have that tray right there. And if I go ahead and leave, it's gone. But up here we can go ahead and see that it has one and you know a little document there so we know something's up there. And then when I'm ready to go ahead and grab it, I can just grab it from here, drag it down there or wherever it needs to go. So that's a really handy feature. Now, what I can also do when I'm done with this, I go ahead, right click it, I could copy, I could rename it, I could send via airdrop or go ahead and remove it. So I'll go ahead and remove it. Now coming up here, we'll go ahead, we can see this little gear icon here and we can go ahead and customize our nook. So here are the different settings that we can go ahead and change. So here under general, we have these different options here. So we can have it launch at login and change some different settings here. If we come over to gestures, this is where we can go ahead and allow gestures. So, you know, again, if we were playing music, we can go ahead and swipe with our fingers to go to the next song. Coming here to live actions. So this is where you can go ahead and change the live activities options. And if we come to customize activities, this is where we can go ahead and change things. So currently I just have the media player and the files tray. Now here we can go ahead and change some settings here. So there's different effect types. We can have the audio spectrograph. We can have uh, audio waves. We could show a GIF uh, or have vibrating circles. I'll go ahead and leave that on audio spectrograph. And then here for the files tray, there's no options to change there. You can just turn it on or off. This is the calendar. So this is where you can go ahead and have your calendar up in the notch nook. So as you can see, you know, for this example, you've got an event coming up in 15 minutes. It'll highlight that at the top of your screen there and show 15 minutes. And you can go ahead and change that too, whether you want it closer or, uh, you know, so it shows sooner or later. And then here we have uh, new updates. Now moving over here to the nook. So this is where we can go ahead and customize widgets. Now, again, here's the calendar. And this is where you can go ahead and select what calendars you want to show, you know, if you have that turned on and you can change its app width. Again, right now I don't have it turned on, but this is where you go ahead and change those calendar settings. You can either choose to have the media player on or off. Now coming to shortcuts here. So you can go ahead and add new shortcuts here. Like these are Apple shortcuts that you can go ahead and create and customize your own and then have those shortcuts live right up in your notch, which is super helpful. Here is the mirror section. So again, this is where you can go ahead and use your webcam built into your uh, MacBook to go ahead and show you something. I could also select a different cam and then here we we also have the notes. So this is where you go ahead and have your Apple notes connected. And they also have uh, to do's and quick apps coming soon. For the tray, we have uh, a different width that we can go ahead and change here. The drop area. Again, we have some different um, things we can change there. But more or less, that's Notch Nook. Again, it's a very simple app, but it really changes how you interact with your MacBook or Mac. Pricing and accessibility. Let's talk about the money side of things. So Notch Nook offers a few different pricing options to fit your budget. If you just wanna try it out, there's a $3 per month subscription that covers two devices. And if you're ready to commit, a one-time payment of $25 gets you five licenses. It's a pretty good deal considering how much functionality that the app adds to your Mac. There's also a set app bundle, which is sort of like the Netflix of productivity tools. For $9.99 per month, you get access to not only Notch Nook, but along with over 240 premium Mac OS and iOS apps. So if you're someone who loves trying out new software, then this might be the way to go. One thing to keep in mind is that Notch Nook isn't available on the Mac App Store. The developers use private Mac OS APIs to make some of the features work, and those aren't allowed in the App Store. But you can download it directly from the website, which you can click the link down below in the description, or again, get started with Setup which you can find the link down in the description. The good, the bad, and the bugs. What works? So Notch Nook has a lot going for it. For starters, it's just plain fun to use. There's something satisfying about turning the notch, which is a feature that's often seen as a drawback and is something that actually improves your MacBook experience. The customization options are fantastic, letting you tailor the app to your needs. And the widgets are genuinely useful, especially the calendar and the file tray. It's not just a gimmick. It's a tool that can actually make your life easier. The app also works on a wide range of devices. So whether you've got a MacBook Pro with a notch or an older Mac without one, Notch Nook has you covered. It's a great way to bring some of the iPhone's dynamic island of magic to your desktop. Now what needs work? That said, Notch Nook isn't perfect. 
Some users have reported bugs like the app freezing when they hover over the notch or when they try to use certain features. Others have mentioned issues with the file tray, like not being able to remove files once they've been added. And while the media player works great with Apple Music, it can be hit or miss with third-party apps. There are also some quirks with permissions. A few users have stated that the app doesn't load automatically on startup and requires them to reauthorize permissions. Now it's not a deal breaker, but it's something to be aware of. Finally, the fact that it's not available in the Mac App Store might be a downside for some people. While downloading it from the website is easy enough, some users might just prefer the convenience and the added security of the App Store. User feedback. What people are saying. The response to Notch Nook has been mostly positive. According to user reviews, 92% of people who've tried the app love it. That's a pretty impressive number, especially for a new app. Here's what some users have to say. One user described it as a game changer for productivity, praising the shortcuts and customization options. Another said it made their MacBook feel futuristic, which is high praise for a tiny piece of software. And many users have mentioned how much they love the calendar widget, calling it a simple but effective way to stay organized. Of course, not everyone's experience has been perfect. Some users have reported bugs that make the app frustrating to use, and one person said that they had to uninstall it because it kept freezing, while another person mentioned that the app doesn't work with all their media apps. So these issues are worth keeping in mind if you're thinking about trying Notch Nook. Should you try Notch Nook? So is Notch Nook worth it? That depends on what you're looking for. If you love exploring creative ways to enhance your Mac OS experience, this app is definitely worth a try. It's fun, it's innovative, and it adds a level of customization that's hard to find in other apps. But if you're someone who values stability above all else, then you might wanna wait for a few more updates. The bugs and quirks could be a deal breaker for some users, especially if you rely on your MacBook for work. Final thoughts. Notch Nook takes an annoying MacBook feature and turns it into something truly unique. While it's not perfect, its combination of innovation, fun, and functionality make it a standout tool for macOS users. Whether you use it to manage files, control media, or just check yourself in the mirror, Notch Nook proves that even the smallest spaces can make a big impact. At the end of the day, Notch Nook is a great example of what's possible when developers think outside the box. It's not just an app, it's a reminder that even the most overlooked features can be turned into something amazing with a little creativity. So if you want to get started with Notch Nook, you can download it using the link down in the description below or get it as part of a set app subscription. Both of these links down in the description are affiliate links, which means that we earn a small commission when you use them at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue creating free content just like this. So if you end up using them, we thank you so much in advance. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on this channel, we provide in-depth reviews and comparisons of different software tools to help you find the best software solutions for streamlining your business and boosting productivity. So be sure to subscribe. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you here in the next video.